They used to call Elvis Presley the king of rock and roll, but Presley himself knew who the real king was. He once told a singer named Richard Pennyman, your music has inspired me, you are the greatest. Richard who? Well, you might know him better as Little Richard, a performer who set the style and the stage for generations of rock and rollers to come. Mind you, that influence wasn't all good. Little Richard found himself frequently in big trouble over drugs and sex. His outrageous behaviour, his lipstick, mascara, hairdos, once scandalised America. But a lot of things have changed in the last 30 years, including Little Richard. Let it all hang out! With the beautiful Little Richard, come down in Macon, Georgia. Little Richard, he's done it all. Sex, drugs, and most of all, rock and roll. I want you all to know that I am the king of rock and roll! When I, when I was first came in rock and roll, I didn't drink or smoke. I didn't, use, I didn't know anything about drugs, because I'd never seen it in my hometown. Later on in life, I, I felt, you know, I came to California, and I, I saw things that I'd never seen before. And, it, you know, it was a sex drive there. Uh, but uh, I, I'm through driving now. I've parked my car. You parked and, your and car. And I'm walking up the stairway. Saturday night, and I just got paid. He blasted his way into the history books with a new brand of music that set the stage that others could only follow. Up and comers like Mick Jagger. Little Richard was the first thing I remember, like as far as rock and roll was concerned. We was in Birmingham, England, and uh, Mick Jagger, we had, the place was just gone mad. And he used to stand and watch me every night entertain. You know, he loved the way I walked the stage and he would, he would just have a fit. <laughs> I think that uh, my music is really the force. Oh, yeah! When I came about, everybody thought I was crazy. And uh, uh, um, they would call the music terrible, you know, uh, and bad. And, uh, and after, you know, you start winning with it, everybody got on the bandwagon in the boat. Everyone everybody followed you. Everybody started claiming and naming and blaming. <laughs> Meaningless words that not only launched Little Richard, but gave birth to rock and roll itself back in 1956. I'm the originator. I'm the emancipator. I'm the architect. The quasar. I'm the one that started it all. Before me, it was woo, but it wasn't a woo. I brought woo. And I brought that in. Born Richard Pennyman in 1932, Little Richard came from America's deep south. He was one of 12 children in a poor black family. When you're hungry, you can sing, too. I bet. Uh, when you're down and out, you can sing. When you know that your mother don't have food for the kids, you can sing. You they can dance, too. Yeah, baby. Not only was his music outrageous, but the world had never seen anyone like him. Six inch high hairdos, makeup, mascara, even lipstick. I was so wild to even my mother used to say, Richard, please don't do that, darling. The band boys didn't even want to play with me. Because everybody was me. All my band boys had a makeup kit. And it wasn't used to seeing no guys with makeup kits. And everybody was looking beautiful. Everybody was glamorous and looked good because I demanded that. And now everybody's doing it. When I started, you was condemned. Everybody do everything today. It's acceptable. Prince, Michael Jackson, Boy George, Jagger. All of them inspired by this frenetic black man who started out with the Ku Klux Klan on his back. The obscenity and vulgarity of the rock and roll music is obviously a means by which the white man and his children can be driven to the level with a Negro. It is obviously Negro music. I, I could never understand how a person could call music Nigger music and everybody wanted to dance by it. 
You know, yeah. the, the same music he was calling nigger music, white kids was jumping over balconies to dance. Uh, uh, my music broke down the walls of segregation. Uh, 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 they would have, they were called the white, white spectators. And the, if the dance was really for black people. And the whites would be upstairs in the balcony, and the white kids would leap over the balcony and come down with the black kids and dance. Right? And, and they loved it. I was the wrong image at the time that they wanted the white kids to have. The pompadour. And yes, and to, they, they, they talked about me downward. And they needed the white image fast. That's where Elvis came. They didn't like because those white girls were screaming, and they brought Elvis in. They, they, they put a, give a white image to the kids. They don't want that black image. Do you think you might have gone further in music if you'd been white? Oh, if I was been white, Elvis would have never been. According to Little Richard, while Elvis may have copied him, artists like Pat Boone stole his hits. And he's a millionaire in a big way today. Uh, and he was able to have, uh, uh, um, he was able to take my tune and become a star. Uh, my tune made Pat Boone a star. I'm sure you know that. At the height of his career, Little Richard turned his back on show business and became a born again Christian, the first of several brushes with religion. And where did he first see the light? Where else but Australia? I was on a. You have a, what you call, um, I don't know the name a of it. A ferry? Part. Yeah, we was on that. And we was going across, and uh, um, the band boys, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going home. I'm not going, I said, I'm not going to sing anymore. And they said, Richard, well, we don't believe it. I said, what can I do to make you believe it? He said, if, you, if you're telling the truth, most of throw, throw those diamonds in the water. So I took them off. And I threw them in there, and everybody wanted to jump in the water. They had to keep them from jumping in the water. You know, they, they was going after those rings, so there were some big rings. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. It didn't take long, though, for Little Richard to fall off the religion wagon. A few short years as a gospel preacher, and then the fast life seduced him back to the bad old ways. <laughs> By the mid-60s, Richard was well and truly back, more outrageous than ever. By now, there was an up-and-coming new group of pupils to learn from the king. This time, the Beatles. I used to sit down and talk to Paul, and uh, 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 Paul was the one that wanted to do the hollows. He would say, I said, woo, he would say, woo, 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 woo. The next thing you know, well, I couldn't get that myself. We're going to tear my whole throat up. Uh, but it was really something. And this was for Long Tall Sally? Uh, that was for any kind of Sally. She could have been shocked, I just said. <laughs> 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 no, that's what it was. It was for Long. But, but uh, that note, I used to teach that note. It's when you hear him improvise uh, that you quickly uh, uh, understand why the so greats of rock and roll energy, listen closely no when little Richard like pounded the so ivories. Long. For all the flash and showmanship, basically, He's still a damn good muso. I've been seeking, I've been searching, I've been looking, I've been searching, I've been seeking, I've been searching, woo, trying to find. See, when I hear that, it just really, that, 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 type of thing and just uh it's not outdated to me you know some people say well uh, uh, that that's not outdated and the kids i know it's not outdated to them either in his heyday richard sang all the way to the bank there was more money than he could manage it was really so much money, I didn't know what to do with it. It, it, was, true that you... it was too much. I'd be giving it away, throwing it away. I said, oh, boy, it's just too, much. too many zeros behind here, you know? <laughs> Is it true that you, you, at one stage, used to take an empty suitcase away with you on the road? Yes, right, and bring it back packed. Just with cash? Ca nothing but cash. And boots, the trunks were full? Yes, and I used to put the money on the bed and stack it up on the bed. My sister would just wallow it, and my sister Peggy. it. <laughs> Peggy was crazy. She got good sense now. <laughs> His sister Peggy yeah. may have woken up. It took Richard a little longer. He practically snorted his fortune away. 
he wasn't nicknamed Little Cocaine for nothing. Oh, yes. I took so much cocaine, my nose was big enough to park diesel trucks. My nose would be packed. Uh, so much that my membranes would just be coming out on, on the handkerchiefs, you know, just blood. We're just eating out my mem membranes. Uh, um, and I, found, I saw that I was just falling, I was sinking, I was failing. Then I started shooting heroin, I started snorting heroin. Then I became an alcoholic. I fallen so low, I didn't know where to go. Uh, that's when I started back believing in the God of eyes, Abraham and Jacob. Camera is standing by, James. Okay, can we clear the set? Little Richard has found God again, but this time round as a practicing Jew. You know, the Sabbath comes in earlier today. Seven, what, what? seven, but seven sixteen. He takes the Jewish Sabbath seriously enough okay. that he rescheduled this multi-thousand dollar video clip around his religious commitments. I must keep the Sabbath. I got to open it. I must. Okay. At sundown, I got to open it. I find out that I, I did need a needle in my vein. I needed some hope in my brain. And you were sure that God life. would take you? Oh yes. After all your oh, bad years. Oh yes. Thirty years since Tutti Fruity, and he's still rocking. If you thought he was finished, think again. A life full of disasters can't stop him. And this 53-year-old has left his mark forever. Uh, that was my lot. That was my gift. Uh, uh, um, I'm grateful for being a creator. I'm grateful for giving to the world what I had, the gift of rock and roll. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.